In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the cleat in isometric. So just going by the dimensions and I'm also using a help sheet here. This help sheet kind of shows generally what it's supposed to look like. It gives some dimensions. There's going to be a separate video on how to do that little um, specific cylinder that comes down here and I'll make a separate video on how to do this hidden line. So we're just going to draw the overall shape for now. I'm in my drawing. Let's kind of zoom into an area here. I'm going to start off with an ISO circle. So start the ellipse command, I for ISO, press F5 until we get an ISO top and this one has a radius of 2. I'm going to, let's see, let's go ahead and draw a line coming straight out from here. The overall distance is going to be, that's a radius of 2, so I've got 2 plus 2.125, so I'm going to make it 4.125. That's going to be the overall length, so it's the radius of 2 plus this additional length of 2.125. So I'm going to copy this and I'll bring it over a distance of 2 this way a distance of two. I'm going to erase this guy out and let's just go ahead and connect these lines in the back. And I can trim out this little top area now. And I'm going to copy let's see, using my copy command I'll go ahead and copy this overall shape down a distance of anywhere for a base point. I'm going to bring it down a distance of 3. And this guy it comes down a distance of 1. And then over a distance of that 2.125. And I'll just bring it straight down and we'll just trim out what we don't need. So trim from here to here. I'm going to connect the lines from quadrant to quadrant. I'll connect those ISO circles. I can erase this line and trim. And I've got the overall shape for my cleat.